Good morning, South Florida. I'm Eric Yetzi. Here's a look at your top stories on this Friday morning. New video showing flames shooting from a plane as it makes an emergency landing at Miami International Airport. Several witnesses calling Local 10 to report the sparks coming from the low flying plane. Airport officials confirming this was an Atlas cargo flight headed to San Juan, Puerto Rico. That plane was forced to turn around minutes after takeoff. An Atlas Air spokesperson releasing the statement saying we can confirm that the flight has landed safely after experiencing an engine malfunction soon after departure from Miami International Airport. The crew followed all standard procedures and safely returned to MIA. At Atlas, safety is always our top priority and we'll be conducting a thorough inspection to determine the cause. Two Miami-Dade police officers recovering after a shootout in southwest Miami-Dade. Officers responded to a call about a possible squatter Wednesday night near Southwest 160th Street and 162nd Avenue. When they arrived, they say the suspect, now identified as 52-year-old Christopher Bailey, was armed with a shotgun. Police say he fired at officers, striking two of them. Bailey was killed when officers returned fire. A third officer was taken to the hospital for a medical evaluation. Only on 10, a man caught on camera holding on for dear life as a carjacker tried to steal his car. A video showing the man screaming as he holds onto the hood of that speeding vehicle. Officers arrived moments later. By the time the carjacker already had taken off, officers still searching for that stolen car. The condition of the victim is unknown. As breaking news happens, we'll keep you covered on air and online at the local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.